Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture on the collision cross section in gas molecules. So let us consider two gas molecules of unequal radius. So this is one sphere and uh, consider another sphere like this. So both having an equal radii. So we, so we have like this A1 and from center to, oh sorry, and this is A2. So this is A1, A1 and A2. Now, uh, so when these two spheres, so the molecule is in the spherical shape, uh, we assume that the molecule is in spherical shape and uh, when they collide, we define a potential for this collision and we name that as, uh, so here initially, uh, let us consider the two spherical molecules of radii A1 and A2. And so the, we define a potential that is hard sphere potential. Oh, hard sphere potential between them. Now here, this potential energy, uh, the potential energy Vr, so this depends on the separation between the two molecules. That variable we call R. Uh, of their centers between the separation of their centers. Now here uh, we will define VR as, so VR will be either zero or infinity. So the potential energy VR will be zero when the separation R is greater than A1 plus A2 that is the radius of uh, two molecules and it will be infinity if R is less than or equal to A1 plus A2. Now uh, to characterize sub whenever these two molecules collide, so, so based on the, we uh, characterize the collision based on the separation between them so we will define a parameter that is uh, that is uh, that is known as impact parameter so what this impact parameter we will determine it determines that the uh, whether the collisions will be of whether the molecules will be deflected or not deflected so after collision, molecules uh, will, after collision, whether molecules, so here whether molecules would deflect or not. So that is going to be determined by impact parameter B and uh, so here, now here there will be a collision that is uh, so there will be a collision if If this impact parameter B is if uh, B is less than A one plus A two. Now here uh, let us take a. Uh, 
so we have this cross section let us take a tube like this and uh, we have the molecule with radius a1 so this is a molecule uh, so with a1 and we have different molecules in the vicinity like uh, here we have the molecules of radius a2 so it has center here and there is another molecule like this see this cylindrical this cylindrical tube is just, just an imaginary one we are drawing and uh, at an instant where uh, the molecules are present like this this cylindrical tube is imaginary but these molecules are uh, like a this molecule a and uh, this molecule c and this molecule oh sorry a and uh, this is B, this is A, and this is C. Now, this is a, uh, this molecule. So now we are determining the collision uh, that happens to the molecule, say X. So the collisions that will happen to the molecule X. Now here, uh, uh, if, see if the collision will take place only if the center of molecules A, B and C comes inside the tube. So here the center of molecule A is not inside the tube, it is outside as you can see, whereas the center of molecule C and B, they are inside the tube. So the collision will happen with B and C, whereas uh, with A, it doesn't happen. So molecule X collides with B and C, but not A. So why this is the case? Because here the impact parameter is not less than A1 plus A2. Thus, so uh, the separation is uh, more than. So here now the tube has a diameter. Sorry, the tube has a radius. So if you take from the center to here, this, this length will be A1 plus A2. Therefore, cross section, cross section area of tube is is equal to pi into A1 plus A2 whole square. So this is the uh, cross section. Uh, of the collision. So the area of the, the cross section area of the tube is called the collision cross section. Now here, uh, if if the all the molecules are similar, suppose the the gas is similar gas like helium gas, for example. So all the molecules will have equal radius. In that case, A one will be is equal to A two, which is equal to A. Then, uh, so the cross section collision cross section sigma. So then sigma will be is equal to pi into A plus A whole square which is um, we can replace this a plus a as d so pi d square here d is equal to 2a now this is actually twice the radius of the molecule of that spherical molecule now uh, so here the d is also called as twice of the radius so d is 
diameter of the molecule because it is twice of the radius. Now, as the temperature of the gas increases, the cross section area of the molecule sigma will reduce. So, because of this, the collisions will increase. So, here the number of collisions is, is uh, inversely proportional to the cross section area. So this is the expression and the concept of uh, cross section, the collision cross section. So in the previous lecture, we have seen the main collision time in that we have discussed about the, the volume swept by the molecule. Now, this cylinder volume is nothing but the volume swept by the molecule. Whereas sigma is the cross section and how much distance it travels is, is nothing but V times uh, dt. In time dt, it is V dt. And uh, when we multiply with cross section, we get that volume swept by, swept by the molecule. So in this way, we have derived uh, collision cross section. And uh, in the next lecture, we will see the mean free path. So all these are going to help us understand the kinetic theory gas kinetic theory of gases and uh, uh, and further concepts so thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe this channel and uh, see you in the next lecture